I'm just going to speak a few more truths on this whole silly job application mechanism that people are introducing these days. Um, again, if you go into a place and they say, oh, fill out, our job, fill out our online application form, walk out of there. They are slaves owned by the devil that treat other people like slaves. They have no vision. They have no spirit of God on the inside of them. I kid you not, so a couple of examples. I went to the real Canadian superstore here in Langley and I asked to talk to the manager, which is the way it should work, and the manager came out and said, oh, we do it all online now. And believe me, the online process was hideously slavish. It was hideously impersonal and it was hideously displeasurable. Don't even bother. The place treats its people like slaves and the managers themselves are owned by Satan. Remember, if someone doesn't belong to Jesus, they belong to Satan and they gladly allow themselves to be treated like slaves. One of the most important distinctions between the child of God and the child of the devil is that the child of the devil literally has no spine. They have no self-esteem. They have no courage to stand up, say that this is wrong, and walk out of the building. They have no power to do that. That is one of the telltale signs that I have seen my whole life long between the children of God and the children of the devil. A child of the devil literally is a slave. They are powerless. They are courageless to stand up in a place of employment, speak out that this is unwrong, that this is subpar treatment of people made in the image of God, and walk out. They are powerless. They're, feel, they're fearful that they won't be provided for when their paycheck and it's true because they have the wrath of God abiding upon their lives. It's pretty scary, scary stuff when people don't have Jesus. It's really scary actually. And you understand with weeping why non-Christians are so full of fear and they're so scared about their finances and they're so scared about losing their job and they're so scared about losing their job because if they do, they know. They know they don't have the blessing of God upon them. They know the wrath of God upon, abides upon them. They know they are children of the devil and that they are slaves. And they're afraid of losing their jobs. Above all, non-Christian non people are freaked out about losing their jobs. And that's why they endure slavish treatment. That's why they treat themselves like slaves. That's why they endure slavish hours that are completely unhealthy for the human body. And that's why they never stand up and say anything against the evil of the system that they're in. And you can get entire pyramids of companies filled with these people. And um, it's completely subpar the way people should be treated made in the image of God. So I'm just telling you a few basic experiences um, that I have had that are just blatant, blatant slave houses, okay? Here's another example. I'm telling you, another example. I go to my local Walmart and I ask to speak to the manager to find out if there are any positions available for shelf stocking. The manager comes out, first of all, I can tell completely. I'm spiritually discerning. I have the Holy Ghost. I can tell he's not a Christian. I can tell he's totally depressed. His eyes are completely depressed. His face is hanging. He is totally unhappy looking. He looks like he has no self-esteem. And he is literally a child of the devil. He is a slave of Satan. Okay? And I ask him, are there any positions to help out with uh, shelf stocking? And I already know what he's going to say, but he says it right off the bat. And believe me, this was bad, folks. The guy could not even look me in the eye. He was so full of shame and, you know, non-confidence through being owned by Satan. He said, oh, make sure you fill out our online form. Go fill out our online form. That's just what you have to do. And it was so slavish. And those online forms are so debasing. They are, they are total slavish, they are total, and if you read, I'm going to call Walmart out as an example of how bad this is. If you actually go through this, the questionnaire that 
Walmart requires you in their application process, all the questions they ask you are basically, will you be a slave to whatever you are told to do without questioning it at any point? Literally, that's the filter they use in order to, to determine whether or not they can hire another slave. Do it yourself. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you'll know that this is satanic. You'll know that it's completely not of God. It's completely not blessed. It's like, do you just do things as you're told without questioning any authority or questioning anyone at any point? It's like, that's basically what every question asks you. Will you be a slave, no matter what you're told to do? Retarded. So, um, yeah. So, avoid places like the plague that don't greet you in person, aren't willing to make an appointment with you, you know, go there in person, you should be treated well as a person, and get the, all the basic questions answered in that first encounter, and they should be willing to make an appointment with you at a convenient date, and it should all be in person. They should not ask you for paperwork. They should not ask you. The Christians need to repent of this. Christian companies and Christian organizations need to repent of following the godless slave system and asking people for resumes and pieces of paper before they even have a conversation with them. That's what you call slave treatment. That's what you call retarded behavior. That's what you call anti-spiritual transaction. And it's disrespectful. It's totally disrespectful. Uh, so, just walk out of there. <laughs> walk out of there. And keep going places until you find a manager that actually understands the concept of uh, loving someone that took the time to come and meet them in person. Oh, there you go. So, people. Start loving people. Please, start looking at people as royalty. This is what I, I just really would love to see the business world understand. Oh, my goodness, like the standards are so low, it's pathetic. But you've got to, it's, it really is. It, unless you call people to high standards and you tell people the truth, things will never get any better. When you are a child of God, okay, made in the image of God, you are actually royalty, like a prince or a princess. If the Queen of England, I kid you not, folks, if the Queen of England was coming to your company to walk in the door, if the Queen of England walked into the door of your company, up to the manager or the human resources person, and said, Hi, I'm here to uh, inquire about a job opportunity. You would treat the Queen of England with unbelievable kindness, Unbelievable. You would make sure she had all of her questions answered. You would be very personal. You would not ask her for her dumb resume. <laughs> you would enjoy every moment of getting to talk to the Queen of England that you have. Well, here's the truth. You are called, this is a high standard, but you are called as a Christian to treat every single person as a child of God. Okay, and um, you know, oh boy, uh, where does that get taught in business these days? And um, so, that's, that's my preaching on true job application process and true uh, job hunting process. It's all personal, it's all face-to-face -face interaction, it's all spirit-led, it's all love-oriented, and it's all faith-based, where you err on the side of hiring people. You say, I believe in you, I believe in giving you a chance, come in tomorrow or come in this afternoon and we'll get you started and if we discover over the first few days that it's not going to work out, um, we'll thank you for taking the time and the courage to come give us the try and, um, and we got to know someone new in the story of God and then let's pray together and, and each, a man of God will discern where that person truly belongs and will have counsel to share that person. I, I kid you not folks, I met some guy on the SkyTrain, a complete stranger, 
And within less than five minutes, the Holy Ghost was giving me career direction to give him. The Holy Ghost just gave me discernment about who he is, what his gifts are, what his personality is, what he really would like and love in life, and I gave a complete stranger on the SkyTrain total career direction in less than five minutes of interaction because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And the guy was so amazed and the guy was so happy at that counsel that he got, he, it's going to change him for the rest of his life. Well, that's what happens when people hang around God, spend more time with God, spend more time with prayer. Imagine this, if it even cost you two hours of, of seeking God in the presence of God and waiting for his voice regarding where you should go for a job application or whether God just wants you to enjoy going out there and meeting a bunch of people and, and just enjoying meeting a ton of people. Who cares if you only get hired at one place, enjoy the whole exploration journey and the learning process. He might tell you to do that. But it's a pleasure. Hear from God first, obey the Lord, enjoy the journey, the whole thing will be a pleasure, and um, it'll cultivate more love and humanness on the planet as opposed to mechanism and unbelievable impersonableness. So, oh man, there are way too many dead drones treating other people like dead drones. Have you noticed? that when the person at the top of a company is a non-Christian dead drone, that all the people beneath them actually have that spirit. And you're just like, I gotta get out of here. Oh Lord. Liven people. Bring some men alive. Give us living hearts and living leaders and living companies that actually are excited about what they do and there's Holy Ghost filled people on site that are loving. And there's actual love in the workplace. And people aren't driven like slaves. I'm sick of seeing people being treated like slaves in work environments and thinking it's normal. And it's ridiculous how people get addicted to this kind of treatment and think that it's normal. It's sick, folks. Did you know that you can go to crazy third world countries that have like no Christ, Christian heritage, and there are children that are treated worse than slaves, and in their minds, in their minds, and in the minds of the whole community, they think, in all honesty, that it's normal. And I'm asking the entire business world, like I see employees at Starbucks that just like are frantically racing around behind that counter, like shoving caffeine into cups and like cranking sugar and all this junk that's actually poisoning people's long-term health, running around all busy and just chaotically preparing all these drinks and just like, I'm like, is this really natural people? Like, is this really necessary that we have all this on-demand caffeine like that's, that's costing, you know, beautiful human beings like full day labor? to like get this stuff in a cup for you? Is this really natural? I am amazed at what human beings can get addicted to. Like just, you have to go to the extreme before you start understanding how bad it can get. If you go to some of those third world countries that are completely devoid of the spirit of Jesus Christ and their roots and in their government, like you, will, you, you can see young children being treated worse than slaves. And everyone in the whole community honestly thinks that it's normal. They think this is normal treatment of human beings. And I see so much slave-like stuff in even places in North America. There you go. People get around God more, filled with the Holy Ghost.